Welcome to Queer Games Heck Yeah for today. I'm Luke, I'm a game dev. I'm here to just play through a little indie game that's queer themed, you know, LGBT, IQ, plus, uh, A, can't forget the A. Uh, I'm not really feeling the energy today. This is one of the reasons I'm doing it, because I'm kind of got up and it's like cold, and I'm like, I've got work to do, and I was like, oh, I don't want to face it. So I thought maybe I'll play a game on Queer Games Heck Yeah to get me, you know, <laughs> To try and get me try and get the energy levels up. Do you ever have those days where you you feel really attractive, but then you have other days where you don't feel attractive at all? I'm having one of those days. I'm feeling just kind of like a little bit lighthouse keeper, you know, just kind of the beard is a bit unkempt. Um, I'm kind of wearing like the clothes that I wear before I do a load of laundry. So yeah, it's all it's all a bit grim today, to be honest. Um, so <laughs> I'm really relying on, <laughs> on this game to turn it all around. Oh, all right, let's give it a go. What game are we playing? It's called Pixel Pride. It looks like a Bitsy game from where I'm sitting. The best way to describe Bitsy games, I think, is maybe it's about if you have a concept and you want to... Um, No, that was actually the really worst way to describe Bitsy Games. Bitsy is just a, a way to make games. I've got the website up on my screen, so I'm actually going to read the little caption for once. That's what a schmozzle today is. I'm just really like, there's no rules. <laughs> Take a short trip into an animated abstract retro world of self-discovery in this collaborative creation made for the LGBTQ plus positive voices at Goldsmiths Exhibition. All right, that doesn't really tell me anything. Which is the way I like it. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Okay. So where the... Oh, oh, no. I missed the text. Oh, well. This place is literally a maze after all. Take a look. No, you know, we're going to have to restart because I cannot... I don't want to miss a single... I don't want to miss a single word this early. Okay, let's go. Pixel Pride. All right. Now, so we're in the bottom right-hand corner and it's a, like a top-down 2D view if you're not familiar with Bitsy Games. See, we moved. Okay, here we go. We move again. Hello there. Looking for something? A bit lost, you say. I am feeling a bit lost today. Oh well, this place is literally a maze after all. Life does feel like a maze today. Take a look around and maybe there are other others who can help find what you're looking for. The thing with Bitsy, it's so low res that if you have a sentence more than like five words, it takes like three text boxes. <laughs> But that's the discipline that I really admire about low res stuff is you you have every pixel counts and that so every letter counts um, and I think more games could use that kind of discipline. So the thing with Bitsy is basically if something's glowing or flashing, that's where you want to go. Uh, I love this little rainbow font. If I wait for someone else to validate my existence, it will mean that I'm shortchanging myself. That's really profound. You know I do. I've, I'm guilty of that, definitely. I'm seeking validation from other people. Oh wow, it's like a building. Oh. Oh, I don't like how this text pops up and before you realize it, you've moved on to the next one. What's this grand building? I imagine a grand building has a lot of grand ideas within it. You'd be surprised. Hey, Howsy, it's your friendly neighborhood sapphic cowboy here <laughs> to spread some queer joy because guess what? Cowboys were pretty gay. Where'd sapphic... I'm led to believe sapphic means, you know, same-sex attracted women. So, cowboy. A sapphic cowboy. I would have expected a sapphic cowgirl. I don't know. Terminology, it changes so quickly. Oscar Wilde, Gertrude Stein, and Alice B. Toklas. Virginia Woolf, Harvey Feierstein, Freddie Mercury, and Quentin Crisp. Lesbian and gay icons who have really fought and spoken for us as gay people. Okay, so I'm getting a vibe. This is actually a bit of like a historical, um, you know, queer history game, um, which is really good. I <laughs> was that con that wasn't very convincing, was it? <laughs> Please, I'm really looking forward to a bitsy game about queer politics. <laughs> 
The love that my partner and I have for each other. Getting to feel his warm embrace every day brings so much color and comfort to my world. When life gets tough, we are always there to support and express compassionate care for each other. I'm happy for them. Oh, outdoors. Oh, look at the flowers. That's pretty. You can say so much with so little in a bitsy game. <laughs> that reminds me of a Pet Shop Boys lyric. They are a band from the 20th century. Um, they have a song called Yesterday When I Was Mad. And it's about these two singers or two people in a, in a band. There's two people in the Pet Shop Boys. And they're just singing about sort of how much they hate each other, but like in a really, <laughs> really polite way. Go, you know, I really admire how you've made such a little go a very long way. <laughs> I'm going to talk to this dancing person. Uh, when I came out to my family via a 3 a.m. text message, <laughs> Ash sounds Ash sounds like a bit of a, a bit sloppy, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like Ash would be good drama <laughs> to have in your life. Their response made me cry with relief and joy. It took so much effort for me to take that step, and the way they responded reassured me that it didn't matter to them about my gender wiggly, uh, wiggling or my sexuality. And six plus years later, they still show me regularly through their words and actions that they support and love me. This is very lucky, very lucky uh, to have a supportive family. Ooh, this is cool. I love this. I've never seen this sort of fragmented. Oh, I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see. <laughs> you can't see, but I'm like, <laughs> I've got the, I've got my little laser pointer out. Um, this tearing effect on the tiles. I've never actually seen that in a Bitsy game before. And actually, I've never seen so many colors in a Bitsy game before. So, um... I'm not saying why on earth did they pick a Bitsy game if they're just not going to stick to the rules of a Bitsy game. <laughs> but also, if you didn't want to make a Bitsy game, why are you using Bitsy? Love him and let him love you. Mm. Do you think any... That's tough. That's easy to say, tough to do. Loving him is easy. Letting him love you is hard, I think. Do you think anything else under heaven really matters? James Baldwin. I guess there's a reason why he's so famous, because he, he writes good. Oh, it's a cat! Oh, I see. Look at that. So the negative space is a cat, and the animated text is saying meow. That's very cute. So I wonder with this game, so they said it was a collaborative effort for um, some, I think, some exhibition. Does that mean different people made different rooms, or... Is there one developer um, and everyone contributed? Because the rooms do seem quite disparate. It wouldn't surprise me. If you said to me, oh, it was like three or five people all made a room, that would actually be pretty cool. I wrote this piano piece because I had a crush on another boy at school, Andrew. We were 17. Nothing happened. I don't know where he is now, but in 1987, to feel an attraction to another of the same gender and be okay about that, well, that was a big thing. To feel fine about that, that is a big thing. I don't know how you would have done that in the 1980s. You would have had a lot of Pet Shop Boys on repeat <laughs> and not be ashamed. Wow, that's really impressive. To be 17 in 1987 and be okay with your crush on another boy. I'd take my hat off to you if it wasn't keeping me from freezing to death. Ooh, ladders. This is very um, Donkey Kong, isn't it? Onwards and upwards. This is a very big Bitsy game. Bitsy games, if you get a Bitsy game that lasts for more than 30 seconds, <laughs> you're lucky. But we're minutes into this. The world can be a confusing place, but at least I know I am truly myself and free to love who I love and love myself as I am. Oh, they could have just fitted that in one less text box. That went one text box too far. Time to chill and watch a film or two or three. How about Pride? Alice Jr., Jenna Nortz, or But I'm a Cheerleader. I love But I'm a Cheerleader. I rate that so highly. Started a complete lifelong crush on Natasha Leone for me, and um, I'm just so thrilled that she's having a bit of a renaissance, you know? It's a Russian doll, and then also poker. Poker face? Yeah, poker face. The detective show. The like Columbo-esque detective show she does. Um, it's, really, it's really solid if you haven't watched it. <sighs> We missed it. We missed the big reveal. Their love might be right in front of you. Just look for it. Okay, we're going to go back and try again. Okay, here we go. No, the love in front of us is gone. Oh, no. The door. That door looks very final. Let's not go through that door just yet. Oh, oh no. 
We're trapped. Did we break the game? Oh no, and we can't leave. I think we've definitely broken it. Well, let's zoom through it really quickly again. All right, zoom, 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 zoom. Inspirational quote, inspirational quote. Okay, I'm gonna go s sideways. Ooh, this is a new area. So we restarted the game, new area. Oh, it looks like my bathroom. My bathroom doesn't look, how cool would that be though? Uh oh, we seem to just going in a loop. Oh, it was a long tunnel, okay. We have a heart at the end. Sometimes the piece you are missing. Sometimes the piece you are missing is found at the end of what might seem like a most pointless journey and in the most unexpected place. I mean, that sounds like copium to me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can find the missing pieces just through just general introspection. We're going to go through the door. Because we don't want to break it. Okay, here we go. There we go, working this time. Oh, and we're back where we began, but hopefully you're a bit more found and a lot less lost now. And even if you're not yet found, there's still time. I know it, the end. All right, wow. Oh no, what? There we go, Pixel Pride. I thought for a second <laughs> the stream had not been recording for the entire video. <laughs> Every game is a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, and I just want to kind of tease out the difference between a 9 out of 10 and a 10 out of 10. So for this one, I think it was like, it didn't lean in to the strengths of Bitsy. I think it fought the Bitsy engine a little bit. Like there were a lot of rooms. Um, as you can see, we actually broke it at one point because um, Bitsy, I don't think it's great at doing kind of RPG logic. You know, oh, I've, I flicked the switch and so the door is opened. I don't know, like Bitsy can do that, but it's kind of like, how many time? How much of that do you want to do in a Bitsy game? I don't know. A Bitsy is really more about like just telling those little moments, which the game had plenty of. Yeah, I don't know. I think now I think about it, it's a really interesting concept. To just kind of have um, you know regular queer people uh, and their little um, suggestions and advice and life stories intermixed with uh, sort of these bigger quotes love him and let him love you. Um, I hadn't heard that before, actually. And it's something that I think I have to work at. This has got a bit mopey. This is like the mopiest episode of Queer Games Hecka ever. All right, that was Pixel Pride. Um, you can get it on itch. I'd be interested to see what else the developers have been working on. And I guess I wish I'd known a little bit more about the exhibit that it was a part of. All right, I hope you have a very good day. Uh, if you have suggestions for games you want me to look at, please let me know. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment. I love all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.